We have two products from a company called Cardio. That's with a Q. It's um, funny because you said, I want to review this. And I said, I just bought it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That is funny. So the first one is a scale. Um, it's called the Cardio Base, and we have it there on the floor. That's what it looks like, your, your regular smart scale. It's $150, which is not cheap for a scale. Um, and then it connects to an app. So I think Brian said that he would uh, stand on it and be our uh, weighing model. Um, I so could do it, too, if you want. Do you? Now, I have a number of Wi-Fi scales at mm -hmm. home, including the Y-Things Wi-Fi scale. And in fact, go ahead, Brian, you can stand on. My Wi-Fi scale actually tweets. This one's connected oh, to Wi-Fi? This one, it's connected to, yes, Wi-Fi and connects, so it has to smile. So you tapped it, it smiles. You don't have to take your shoes off for it, huh? No, I mean, if you want to weigh less, you take your shoes off. <laughs> well, I'll tell you why. The Y-Things scale, a couple of the scales I have... Also, do they do three measurements. They do weight, but then if you're barefoot, they run a current through you. You don't feel it, but mm -hmm. that will tell tell it your body. Gourmet, what did it say? <laughs> no. uh, it gave a frowny face, and that's because it's used to what I weigh, and so it thinks that I've gained oh, so it's um, giving you, six pounds. No, it says Wi-Fi error. Well, that... Uh, that may be because we haven't set up the Wi-Fi. Yes, and properly. also on carpet, it's not going to give its best right. weight. Now, did you feel a little unsteady? It's and it's unsteady. Yeah, it, that was my, even on the regular, on the floor, it's unsteady. I felt like I was going to fall over a little bit. I don't know why that is. So if you could show my screen, you can see um, what it looks like, what the app looks like here. Um, so here, here's what it looks like. Um, that's what Brian weighs. Um, and he, if he were me, he would have gained five pounds in the last seven days. So that's why the frowny face is. Uh, and according to, um, it has my height. So and it calculates my age the BMI based and, on height. Yeah. So and, yeah. It, if I were Brian, I would be overweight um, at my age and height. Um, and then you could add notes here, like this so is. So the Brian. one thing the Y thing adds it, with that, uh, and and Dr. Mom's telling me it's called impedance uh, plethysmography. The one thing that it adds is this body fat measurement because it's sending a little current through you. And, and, and those are pretty accurate. We use them at the gym and so forth. Um, and that'll give you some idea of your percent body fat as well. Whether that's useful, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it gives this too. So um, let's see. It uh, Let's see. It did this for me. Yes. Let's oh, it does, do, it does do the body yeah, fat? Yeah. So well, um, the oh, BMI. So 33%. That's different. Oh, BMI that's is different. That's not body fat. Yeah. What is the MI? BMI is a calculation. Body it's body mass, mass index. And it's oh, a calculation okay. based on weight and height. And uh, it's it's used, it's really, it comes from uh, actuarial tables. Insurance companies use it. So well, I'm not sure how. Uh, this is body fat. I'm 33% body fat. I wonder how it knew 4 that. 4% bone. So do you have to be barefoot on that? I don't know. But I entered my uh, height and Does my age. Does it come from that? It actually comes from bot measuring your body fat. Oh, like with the calipers? Yeah. Well, it's not calipers. It's a, it's. Like I said, mm. it's impedance plethysmography. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, clearly, you can tell the difference. Now, caliper is the old-fashioned way of doing it, and it requires some skill in, in measuring it. Mm. This, you, If you go to the gym, if you're going to the gym, and they give you a thing to hold with two electrical like metal handles, same technology, runs a current through you, and it, and it guesstimates or estimates your body fat. I don't know how accurate they are, based on uh, on that current. Mm. That's what some scales do. I don't, I don't know if that scale does it. Well, this will also help you set reminders, too, to, to weigh yourself, if you need a reminder to weigh yourself. Um, but this, you also have the cardio arm, which is also part of this. So cardio arm, and I have it, too. Well, and I've had a number of blood pressure monitors. You can, for 60 bucks, go out and get go to the drugstore, get an Omron uh, battery-powered blood pressure monitor. The difference with these is they are also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and so... Uh, they will, just like the scale, record to your laptop, your computer, or your, your uh, ta uh, tablet or uh, phone. But this is the old bulky Y Things device. It's a it, it's a this Figmo mammometer. It's a blood pressure cuff. You're using a lot of big words yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Mom's teaching me. So you put it on and, and you measure it. None of these, to my knowledge, uh, are FDA approved. And as a result, uh, you know, it's like a scale. It's not. It's not going to necessarily match what your doctors. I, my experience has been pretty close to what it says to the doctor. But my problem is, uh, and, and I think it's true for everybody. First of all, my blood pressure goes up a little bit when I'm at the doctor's. But also, one blood pressure measurement doesn't tell you much. You really want to know your blood pressure throughout the day in stressful times. When you wake up, it tends to be higher. Uh, when you're relaxed, it tends to be lower at the end of the day. And so, often a physician will say, "Well, go out and get a monitor and just." monitor it periodically to give us a better idea of how it is going throughout the day. But this one is so big, you're not going to carry that around. You're not no. going to put that in your purse. But this, the Cardia is. Yeah. You've set it up? I've set it up.
set it up. Yeah, so it's it's super easy to set up. So you're just op you just opening yours for the first time. Yeah, I am. Okay. Well, there's a little pull on there that you have to pull that little cue thing. I think you have to pull that pull out. The Did you already pull that out? No. What? Oh, okay. What is that doing? That's um, attached. Oh, I see. That's so I can put my arm in it. And did it come? Did yours come with batteries? This is the complaint I have about both devices. They're yeah. regular AAA batteries, and they take a ton of them. I think the <laughs> the cardio scale takes like nine AAA batteries. Yeah. Um, and you this hate one, to have to, you know, put batteries in your scale. Yes. <laughs> right. Um, well, I mean, it also you can look at it this way. It's like not another thing you have to charge on your. Um, That's true. You I know, would love to see USB. these be lithium ion, but I bet you they would become big and bulky and heavy as a result. So. Okay, so there is a little tab that you had to pull out. I've already yeah, that allows you to pull put it on your rick, on right. your arm, right? And then it pairs. So. I'll let you do it. Okay. We'll see. I do kind of want to compare our blood pressure. Do you, do you have good blood, blood pressure? I, I don't. I'm on medication for high blood pressure. It's one okay. of the reasons I'm aware of this uh, particular subject. So here is, if you look at my phone, you can see I'm, I'm going to start. Now, a good one was going to tell you where to place your arm, what to be doing. For instance, you want your feet flat on the floor. You'd like right. your arm at heart level. Uh, you want to make sure you carefully place the cuff. Uh, there shouldn't be uh, any fabric or cloth impeding. Uh, so you want to follow those instructions to get an accurate result. As closely as you can. Okay. So here it says pairing request. I'm going to pair it. You can start. Ah! All right. So I should try this with the... Uh, oh, wait. is it yours doing? You is turned it? mine on. <laughs> it's measuring your blood pressure. You took pressure. mine on. That's interesting. It paired with well, yours instead of mine. that's good. It paired so fast. Yeah. So that's your blood pressure. Yeah. Wow. If it's going to... I, uh... How's your cysts over your So DIA? what it does, and one of the reasons it uses so many batteries is because it's uh, it's got to inflate this cuff. Mm -hmm. This is how the doctor does it too, right? And then slowly let the air out, and they measure the systolic first, and then they're going to measure the diastolic. And I'm high. That's high. Mm, See this you red? Are high. Yeah. Oh. And, but but that's and by the way, the pulse rate matched matched the one on the, the uh, ECG. What is so it? What does your um, Apple Watch say your heart rate is? Well, if you must know, I don't know. You know what? <laughs> don't don't I have to tell it to do that? Uh, it there's do an it. app with a little heart. Yeah, but I but I have to wait for a second yeah. while it measures it. Um, so that's interesting that it paired with yours and not mine, since it already had paired with mine. But now you get <laughs> to give away your blood pressure. For you. So if you sh uh, if you show my screen, you'll see that um, you can add a note. So it's and it's a location, so it knows you're at work. So this is your blood pressure at work. So versus if you're measuring your blood pressure And that's the kind of thing you want to know. You want yeah. to know time of day, work. You'd like a little diary that you could say, and this yeah. was, you know, during a, a program. Home, work, vacation, yeah, this gym, is great. doctor. This is great. And it's like your weight. You, you don't want to be obsessive about it. Uh, it may be not exactly the same as you'd get at the physician's, mm -hmm. but it gives you some idea a relative of what, you know, when your blood pressure goes up, when it goes down. Mm -hmm. And it'll give your physician a much better idea of kind of your overall uh, blood pressure. This says 95, so it's very close. Yeah, yeah. pretty close. And then yeah. it has a history again, so you can measure. Um, that was mine earlier. One. Yeah. And what else does it do? You can, this is a big calendar. Again, reminders, remind yourself to take your blood pressure. Um, graphs. It gives a pretty detailed um, information here. So it says, you are in grade two hypertension. You're in danger of grade two hypertension. Yeah, I'm not going to... Again, one reading doesn't do it all. So right. I just had a cup of coffee. I'm doing a show. That's why my heart rate is elevated. Um, so that's why you want to do it a number of times in a number of different ways and so forth. We should just wear these around all yeah. the time. Well, I, but the thing I like best about this is that it's so compact. Yeah. And it's easy to carry around. And so uh, you might, you know, you're not going to carry something like this around. Even an Omron blood pressure meter is, is going to look like this with a thing attached to it. It's kind of nice. And I like the fact that when you've uh, tied it to your smartphone, it automatically gives you a record, a journal of this. And that's the kind of thing you, you really want. Not just one reading, but as many readings as possible. So we just fold it up like this. Huh? Yeah. So that's that's kind of nice. So it, fits, it comes it fits in a in. really nice box. Yeah. And I guess it comes with batteries since yours just already had batteries <laughs> in it. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing ever. Did I accidentally take yours? Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so because I don't remember putting batteries in it either. I'm pretty sure it's there's no way to charge it besides batteries. Uh, must it must come with uh, batteries? Yeah. yeah. It requires a phone with Bluetooth, iOS seven or later, or Android four four or later. Um, and it works with the Apple Watch apparently uh, as well as Android and iOS. So, uh, th and this was inexpensive. It was under a hundred bucks, right? 
Um, let's see. I have that. How in much my was the notes. scale? The scale was 150. This is 100. Okay, not bad. Again, these are uh, you always consult your physician, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, and but the and I think most physicians would say, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Don't get obsessive about it. Mm -hmm. But one blood pressure reading at a physician's office is not usually sufficient to to tell what's going on. They'd like to see it over a period of time in a, in a different situations. Exactly.